So hey folks, today we're gonna do faster 3D printing without compromising quality. But before we do, I wanna say a big thank you for getting over a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate all of the comments, questions, and the encouragement. It's definitely a work in progress, so thank you so much. So if you want faster prints and better quality, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. So you may have seen these bottles recently in the Faster Z offset. Well, they're not printed to size, but this one is. And I was curious to see if the cap would thread well onto the container, which it does, which is awesome. I inspected the threads, but this was gonna take over three hours to print. I really wasn't interested in wasting three hours. So I made a few adjustments to it. And I'm gonna share those adjustments with you today. It does not include speeding up the stepper motors. The more you speed them up, the more momentum you create, which of course creates vibrations, which will impact your quality. So what I did was I changed the line width for the brim. I used a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and I printed the first layer with a 0.4 millimeter line width. Then what I did was I changed the rest of the layers to a 0.8 millimeter line width and I reduced the number of walls. So this bottle is really, really strong. The finish is still really nice. Uh, it looks great and it really depends upon what you want to do with a, a print that you're making, you know? So if you're gonna go sit it on a shelf someplace and there is a little bit of imperfections, nobody will notice. Not that there's any with this. It looks dynamite. It came out fantastic. This is something that you can do no matter which slicer it is that you're using, is go in and adjust the line widths adjust the infill percentage and control the number of lines. Okay, so have a look at my quality uh, that I printed, okay? So I printed those letters, they are attached individually to the bed, no glue, okay? And what I did was I used 0.8 millimeter line width on this lettering, no stringing, came out fantastic. I'm encouraging you to experiment with the line width. Maybe 0.8 is too much. Maybe it's a matter of going 0.6, so you'll, you won't will save as much time, but you will save some time. This should have taken four hours with the default settings, but because I put a 0.8 millimeter line width on it, it only took two hours and it came out dynamite. Try it out and let me know how it goes. If you're interested in that other video for the Faster Z offset, I'll put a link up on the screen here. Happy printing. Thanks for watching.